Hi, welcome back. Um, if you watched my previous video, thank you for watching. So today I'm going to give you a flip of my Giglio. Um, so I switched out of my Holborn into my Giglio. Now I switched because, first of all, it's a Giglio. <laughs> Second of all, it closes. Oh my God, I am so excited about it closing. I was one of those um, that'd be like, oh no, I don't want a chunky planner. But then once I kept putting inserts in, it just kept growing. And now I feel like I need all the inserts. Anyways, let's go right into it. Now this does have 30 mil. I mean, sorry, this does have 25 millimeter rings. I am hoping to receive my 30 millimeters by end of week because it desperately needs it. I mean, you will see more towards the end where I can barely flip. Anywho, I'm not very good at decorating pockets, so I kept it simple. And back here, we just have some stickers and some checks. Back here, we also have some checks and um, some more stickers, my COVID, all of that fun stuff. Fly leaf. This is the same as my previous video. My workout section. I have to put some stickers there yesterday. Oh my goodness. Okay, so actually I should figure out if like today is actually the 15th. So this should be 179.1. So usually what I do is I'll put like how many miles I did and then I'll put the sticker like for example, I don't know how many miles I did on Tuesday. But I should look into that because I'm missing that. I try to track sleep here, but it just it's it's not working. So I have to figure out a way to track sleep. And you know what? If I'm being completely honest, tracking sleep is so hard for me. I I I really need to figure out what is the proper way. Cause you know, for a while I was like, okay, so going to bed at six and then waking up. And is it the next day that I have to put what time I woke up? You know, it was so confusing anyways this is let's see what's in here okay so these i have until the end of the year which is clipped back i also have a weight tracker in there which is the whole year i made this one because i needed to see the graph i was um it really motivates me to kind of see it um going down So this here, I added, <clears throat> excuse me, this is new. I added the, these are, these are the ones you buy at like um, Office Depot. See, it's 23 to 24. So I have, oh no, I see, luckily I, I always have extra ones of these. I um, added these for, to track like symptoms and just sick days. Um, pretty much like, for example, these are color coordinated, so I know who's who. But then, like, my little one on March 1st, he was having some nighttime coughing. So, he didn't go to school these uh, three days. And this calendar is only going to be for that purpose. <clears throat> then we have, um, well, I made this little sticker here. I, I made this for... For my family section but i just i haven't figured out exactly where i want to put it so i'm just gonna leave it here for now and then back here i have i cut down a folder and i punched in some holes and so i have it as like there's prescriptions in there like there's eye exams and stuff like that if you saw my previous video you will see that i have this this is my health super super important super easy because um, I can, you know, when you go to the doctor and they ask, well, when was your last eye exam? I can just go to here and be like, okay, Nathan's last eye exam was 9922, so he's good. And then for like dental, I'll put if there was x rays, because I know TRICARE covers x rays every two years, I think. So then I have my ABA notes, which, which is part of my health section. You see, it's still a little tight to turn. I did have to remove a lot. I am going to include pictures in here. I just haven't pulled them from my main planner. Then we have um, family notes, like there's sizes in there. And if there's anything that I need to do for them, it's in there yearly. 
another yearly year to get at a glance i think it's called now i still don't know how i want to use these but i will use them i just once i figure it out i will start inputting information but i am keeping them in there because i do like them my quarterly i have obviously the last six months of 2022 i have 2023 and then the next uh six months of 2024 then we have and i made um all of these um dividers on cricut this is my trigger grocery list this is my monthly grocery list which has been working awesome and today is see i accidentally scratched out the wrong date so yesterday was pasta but since there's leftover pasta i made two big bowls we're gonna also eat pasta today so usually whenever i'm either um moving the meals i'll just do a little arrow so this is actually this should all be clipped back but <clears throat> excuse me now these are new these are um i'm i'm using them as a grocery list so before i would grab a sticky let me see if i have any i would grab a sticky and then stick it on here and do my grocery list but then once i was done with that sticky it would get tossed and i'd have to put a new one i figured I have so much space here and then as I go, I will just continue uh, scratching it off. Like, for example, I need um, honeycomb. Let's see. I also made this pocket. Is this? No, this is not. See, some are slit, some are not. I made this pocket specifically for coupons. Now, in the commissary they always have these coupons on the uh like right underneath the item and they're like stuck on there and so usually i'll grab one and i'll like put it in here like that and then when i'm done with my groceries i will go up to pay and i will for some reason i won't even see it i won't even see it there um i will pay and then forget that i have coupons like these are previous coupons and these expired on september 30th 2022 but the commissary will honor them for a year so I figured if I put them here, there is no way that I can miss them when I'm going to pay. Because my planner, whenever I'm going to go to groceries, is just sitting like that on my um, in my cart. So same with this. I do need to label these so that, I, I mean, I know it's shopping, but it would be nice to label them as shopping. And this is my to-do. And it's the same. It's pretty much the same um, document. Uh, insert, I'm sorry. And we have just some more lists. I laminated a, a to-do Filofax because I have a wet dry erase. I don't know if that's the name, the actual name of it. Uh, wet erase marker. So I want to start bringing it with me. There's more lists here because this was a, this was like a set of inserts. And I really like them. I like these neutrals and just grays and blacks. This is a note section. And you see how this bends back let me put my pen down this bends back i don't like that so usually what i'll do is i will reinforce it so when i move it you see it doesn't it won't it won't just bend back this is for notes now these here are the filofax notes i don't know what the exact name are but they these are attached to a cardboard and these are amazing because what i did is i slit all the pages so you see, but it, since it's attached at the top, it won't come out. So, um, and when your, your planner is chunky, you know, when you slit, you continue to slit the pages as you flip, they might, they might, um, come out. So it's perfect because it's attached and it won't like, it doesn't matter. You know, I can take all of these out, you know, these are a few, but they're still good because they are attached. And these are great because you jot something if you want to keep it you just put it in its permanent place or you you toss it now this is my inbox this is my landing station so if i'm on a call like for example yesterday i called to make an appointment this is where it goes i'm going to write it down right here and then i am going to um i'm going to put it in its oops i'm going to put it in its permanent spot so usually what i'll do is i will jot it here if i feel like i have way too many notes I will go ahead and just move on to here because it's more space. Um, but usually this is enough, but it's good to have this there just in case. 
Now this little guy is, I'm using it as a now, for example, if you know I'm working on something right now and I had to stop, I just wanna put this right there just so that I can close it and be like, okay, this is what I was working before I was interrupted or before I had to do anything. I usually um, keep it in my little notes section just in case. Then if you've seen my previous video, you will see that this is a sticky note station that I made by laminating some acetate. It is clipped back with these clips, which are amazing. They're a little bulky, but not too bulky. These are smaller than the, than the, uh, the big paper clips. So I like those. More notes. Because again, this was a bundle. And then I have these. I want to use this as reminders. I'm not sure if I will or will not use them. Now, this is a new this is a new uh, section. This is my home section. Our happy place because I always want to be home. Now, everything here is clipped back. There's not much. There's maybe like three inserts in here. This is just my vehicle information, my bank information. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing fun in there. Now, I am in my uh, still in my plotters i love these because the boxes are so big and i write so big so these are perfect now i made this beautiful thing i love it now this specifically um i made it larger here so it can stick out it does look a lot bigger than it really is so for example when I close my cover, you can only see like a little bit of it. And then even like at the bottom, you can only see. And then these were made on the Cricut. And then I um, also cut out vinyl and I stuck it on. And obviously I have the plotters to the end of the year. Then I have my weeklies. This is also something I made in my I'm sorry hold on this is also something I made in my um, Cricut and it's vinyl so I just stuck it on there but my I, I didn't stick it on properly so I might have to redo this one and my weekly is kind of small I feel like I need to make it bigger but we'll see let me take this out this is what it really looks like I have a, a pocket in the back. And then I have next for next week. And then I have today. This is another one that I made. Oops. I put a little pocket here because originally I was putting this here. I was putting this here because I wanted to remember to take my supplements, to remember, I mean, to write down my emotions, um, my symptoms, stools, uh, just to check some rethink journal. Um, so I put this there, but this is no longer needed because I added a new one. And actually, I want to show you what this looks like close. So on the top, the only thing that you will see is this little bowl, which is sticking out, and my today. I love it because I know that on the top, there's only one. So I added this one specifically for the tracker because I don't understand why, but I was having such a hard time tracking, and I wouldn't go to the back to go track, you know, and these are like, I, I desperately need to track these things, like. This is my son's um, kind of like uh, homeopathics. And then I have my supplements and then I have a few things for the house. So I'm hoping that this works out. Small overview. And then again, these are the things. So I removed this because I added it here. So for example, I wanna make sure that I journal daily, that I jot down my emotions, that I, I because I desperately need to track my symptoms. I need to remember if I need to do any shopping today. And then I figured I'll just take it out and then I'll move it to the next day. So this will be, this will travel with me throughout the days. Now, again, it's tight, so it's a little. Oof. Okay, there we go. These are new dailies. Um, I am really liking these. I don't know if these are my forever because I just started them last week. 
I like how small the timeline is because, um, you know, I, I don't need a whole page of timeline. And these are a few things and they don't need to be big. I love the priorities. You have three things, possibly four. I mean, six, if depending how big or how small you write. I want to use this section for tomorrow and then my to-do list. Now, this I just wrote on there because I want to start tracking Again, my journaling, my emotions, my symptoms. I want to make sure that I'm jotting that information down. Um, but this um, doesn't actually go there. So we're going to scratch that out. And these get tossed when I'm done. I'll look them over. And if there's any journaling on them, I will transfer it to my main planner. But um, they will get tossed at the end. Now, I have these until January. I'm um, January. Until March 31st. I used to have them um, until June. But because these are 25 millimeter rings, I had to fit in this Gilio. I was desperate to get in it. Um, so I removed the dailies um, and I only kept until March 31st. But um, once I get my 30s in, I will for sure put more dailies in. I like to track, you know, um, far in advance. And um, I know I have my monthlies, but I feel like I don't know why I also need to have my dailies in there. So back here is where I had my dailies and that's why I had this made. I'm not removing it because I want to make sure that I know once my 30s come in where I'm going to put my um, dailies. Then I have my journaling section, which I have been slacking on. Now, do keep in mind that if I'm home, like for example, in the afternoon, I'm not going to. I'm not going to journal in here. I'm going to journal directly in my main planner because, you know, I don't want to double because everything that goes on these journaling pages, they get transferred to my main planner and then these get tossed. So there's a lot of these missing here, but it's because I journal directly in my main planner. But then there are some days that I didn't journal at all for sure. So I need to do better. Now I added this section. This is the school section. Um, this is for IEP meetings for parent teachers. I want to write the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, just have it in a permanent, um, location where I can be like, okay, um, I know that one of my kids is struggling with this, so I need to work on this, you know, based on these notes that I'm taking during these IEP meetings, these parent training meetings. Um, like for example, my oldest right now, um, is being tired at school but it's because he wants to stay up pretty late so i need to address that before it becomes a real problem now this is my tracking station which i will most likely remove or maybe not because i do i do use this one this is the bed sheet and the toothbrush again i still haven't found the date for that lord jesus so i do need to um update this and I might just keep this because I do actually use this one. Like I need to know when was the last time I changed my bed sheets. I have a lot going on and I will not remember. Like I will remember sure it was in, in, in February, but what day I will not remember. Then I have another cut down pocket. I love these. I truly do. You can fit anything in them. They're just, and then the ones that I ordered online from Amazon, they were much wider. So they would stick out like this card one. And I, I like them. I, I made this specifically because it wouldn't stick out. So I really like these. Then I have my IDs, um, my pencil board and um, the back cover. I don't know. This is a cut down happy planner. It was just stiff and I figured it, it help for stability in the back i have some more stickers back there i'm missing all my cards here clearly i rushed into this um into this planner uh cover change anywho that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one have a good one bye